Most people with tinnitus arrive at our clinic after a long, frustrating journey. They've been told to accept it, given devices that don't help, tried apps, supplements, and gimmicks that promise relief, but never changed anything. If that's you, don't lose hope. The problem was never you. The problem is the fact that no one actually showed you how tinnitus works or how to rewire your brain. You're about to understand something most could never explain and will change everything about your relationship with tinnitus. I'm Dr. Julie Prutzman, and for the past 20 years, I've helped thousands of tinnitus patients find relief, real relief, by understanding how tinnitus works in the brain and nervous system. Tinnitus is my specialty, my passion, and if you've been let down before, stay with me, because you're finally going to hear the truth about tinnitus. As I mentioned earlier, most people with tinnitus have been disappointed long before they find us. They've been told by well-meaning physicians that nothing can be done. Handed a masker by an audiologist who doesn't specialize in, let alone fully understand tinnitus, or sent home with vague reassurance that eventually they'd get used to it. Many spend months, even years, trying apps, supplements, gadgets, and YouTube tricks that offer temporary relief at best and disappointment at worst. None of this reflects what modern tinnitus science is. It simply shows how fragmented tinnitus care has become. At Sound Relief, we built a different path because patients deserve a different outcome. And whether you visit us in person or are watching from across the world, the principles I'm about to show you are the ones that actually work. This is what real tinnitus care should look like. With decades of experience and thousands of successful patients, we created a method based on what consistently works not wishful thinking, not shortcuts, and not outdated advice. We now call it the Sound Relief Method, which is the culmination of decades of clinical insight, neuroscience research, and hands-on patient care. It's a structured, comprehensive, deeply personalized approach designed to help people finally break free from what is called the cognitive distress cycle of tinnitus a cycle that can make tinnitus feel all-consuming, affecting sleep, focus, mood, and peace of mind. Tinnitus begins as a sound, but it becomes a problem because of how the brain and nervous system react to it. A change in the auditory system, whether from noise exposure, hearing loss, or increased neural gain, triggers the tinnitus signal. But the real suffering starts when the brain assigns meaning to that signal, often interpreting it as something threatening abnormal, or urgent. That interpretation activates the body's stress response, and before long, the nervous system is fueling a loop of attention, fear, hypervigilance, and emotional distress. This is the cognitive distress cycle, and unless it is deliberately retrained, the cycle keeps reinforcing itself. Most clinics address only one part of this loop, but the sound relief method was created to address all of it the auditory imbalance that starts the signal, the cognitive response that amplifies it, and the nervous system activation that keeps it alive. Let's break down the sound relief method together. At its heart is prescriptive sound therapy, a highly personalized approach that stabilizes and retrains the auditory system rather than merely masking tinnitus. This is not generic white noise. We carefully calibrate therapeutic sound tailored to your unique auditory profile and designed to quiet the neural hyperactivity that contributes to tinnitus loudness. Research has shown that consistent sound enrichment reduces central auditory gain and helps the brain recalibrate, something masking simply cannot do. But the auditory system is only one part of the cycle. The emotional and cognitive response matters just as much, and addressing that is the second component. That is why the sound relief method incorporates CBT-based brain retraining, the most studied and effective tinnitus therapy available today. CBT helps patients reduce fear, break the attention loop, and transform tinnitus from a source of alarm into something neutral and manageable. To ensure that CBT is consistent, accessible, and affordable, we have incorporated Odo, 
an app-based CBT program into the sound relief method. Many of our patients use the Odo app daily to reinforce the CBT lessons, creating a continuous bridge between their in-clinic care and at-home practice. The third element, the nervous system, is often ignored entirely in traditional tinnitus care, even though it plays a major role in whether tinnitus is perceived as loud or quiet, overwhelming or irrelevant. Stress amplifies tinnitus, calm reduces it. This isn't speculation, it's physiology. That's why the sound relief method teaches patients to downregulate the autonomic nervous system through targeted sound therapy and practices that help lower adrenaline levels, reduce sensory sensitivity, and restore balance. And finally, none of this works without expert guidance. Tinnitus care is not a one and done appointment. It requires a knowledgeable professional who can evaluate root causes, personalize treatment, and make ongoing adjustments as your brain and auditory system begin to change. Our audiologists specialize in tinnitus and sound hypersensitivity, and nothing replaces the impact of consistent, skilled follow-up. Together, these elements form a treatment approach that doesn't just help patients cope, it helps them change how their tinnitus behaves and how their brain perceives it. So why does the sound relief method work when so many other approaches fail? The biggest misunderstanding in tinnitus care is the belief that one tool alone should fix everything, a device, an app, a supplement, or a sound machine. However, tinnitus is not a one system issue. It is a full loop interaction between your auditory pathways, your thought patterns, and your nervous system. And no single tool can retrain that loop on its own. The sound relief method works because it is built on how tinnitus actually operates. Prescriptive sound therapy addresses the auditory triggers. CBT retrains the interpretation and the nervous system regulation cools the reaction. Finally, expert audiology care ensures that all parts of the cycle move in the right direction together. Patients don't just get a temporary distraction, they get a long lasting transformation. So what does tinnitus relief look like? When we begin to break down the cognitive distress cycle, patients often describe a subtle yet powerful shift. The sound no longer feels urgent. It stops triggering stress. It stops interrupting their day. Over time, tinnitus becomes less reactive, less intrusive, and significantly quieter. Sleep improves, concentration returns, emotional tension fades, life begins to feel normal again. For some people, this shift happens quickly, while for others, it builds gradually. In both cases, the pattern is the same. The moment the cycle loses its grip, tinnitus loses its power. When patients commit to the sound relief method and remain consistent throughout the process, we see 85 to 90% of people experience significant improvement. Not a cure, not silence, but true, long-lasting tinnitus remission. The tinnitus stops dominating, stops spiking with stress, and stops dictating every waking moment. It becomes something your brain can finally set aside. And just so we're on the same page, the goal isn't curing tinnitus. In many people, tinnitus begins with inner ear damage, and we don't have the technology to repair that yet but we can retrain the brain's reaction to the sound, and that's what creates long-lasting remission. You may be wondering if the sound relief method would work for you, so let me share where we have seen the most success. It is especially effective for individuals whose tinnitus affects their sleep, mood, focus, or daily life, and those who feel overwhelmed by spikes in their tinnitus, whose tinnitus worsens with stress, who have tried masking without success, or who simply feel stuck. It is also highly effective for people with sound hypersensitivity, whose nervous systems need careful guidance back towards balance. The sound relief method is also built for people who prefer a more proactive approach to treating their tinnitus, even if it is intermittent or not always bothersome. Many of these same people do not want their symptoms to get any worse or more intrusive. As with most chronic health issues, early intervention for tinnitus is key to achieving successful outcomes. Everything I've shared is 100% backed by research. These aren't mere theories or opinions. These principles have been validated time and time again in clinical studies worldwide. CBT has consistently been shown to reduce tinnitus distress. 
Prescriptive sound therapy helps calm the auditory system and decrease neural overactivity. We also know that stress makes tinnitus louder and that daily consistency with therapy leads to better long-term outcomes. And across these studies, the strongest results come from combining these approaches rather than relying on a single tool. This is the foundation on which the sound relief method is built. So what now? We know that tinnitus won't improve by waiting. Change happens when the cognitive distress cycle of tinnitus is gently and systematically reversed with the right tools, structure, and guidance from an audiologist who truly understands what you are experiencing. If you're ready for your relationship with tinnitus to change, we are ready to help you get there.